Meghan Markle was treated to a three-night £33,000 bad moon in Hampshire by Prince Harry just weeks before she is due to give birth to their firstborn. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex booked the most expensive room at the five-star Huckfield Place Hotel, a Georgian mansion favored by listers including actress Liv Tyler and models Cara and Poppy de Levigne. A friend of the couple told The Sun, Meghan is only a couple of weeks away from giving birth, so Harry really wanted to treat her. Meghan and Harry's room, known as the Long Room, comes at £10,000 a night and has its own dining room and private terraces, which granted Meghan and Harry all the privacy they needed during their relaxing staycation. During their short holiday, the royal couple were spotted going for a walk wearing Wellington boots and chose to eat in a room rather than visiting the two restaurants run by celebrities' favorite Sky Gingle. The only company Meghan and Harry had during their holiday was the one of their three protection officers, who also stayed at the hotel. The news of the Duke and Duchess last break as a couple before the arrival of their firstborn comes as they officially settled down in their grade two listed Frogmar house. Their new home in Windsor went through months of renovation works to meet the needs and tastes of Meghan and Harry. The costs of the refurbishment amount to a record £3 million, according to the Daily Mail. Among the renovation works demanded by the pair, there has been the installation of a £50,000 soundproofing unit, paid by the royal couple, which will block out the noise from jets landing to and departing from Heathrow. The Duke and Duchess moved from Kensington Palace to their Windsor estate last month, shortly after it was announced the pair had separated their household from the one of Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and were given a new communication team answering directly to Buckingham Palace. The change was announced by the Queen's Palace itself in a statement, saying, the Queen has given her permission for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to base their household office at Buckingham Palace. Their Royal Highnesses will appoint new communications staff who will form part of the Buckingham Palace communications team and report to the Queen's communications secretary, Donald McCabe. Kensington Palace will continue to support their Royal Highnesses until that team is in place. The separation of the Sussex and Cambridge households continued on social media, with Prince Harry and Meghan launching their own Instagram account, Sussex Royal, earlier this week. Following this move, the profile picture of the Kensington Palace's Instagram account, previously featuring Meghan, Harry, Kate and William attending together an event in February 2018, has been replaced by a snap representing all the members of the Cambridge's household. Kensington Palace didn't comment on the alleged bad moon when contacted by Express.co.uk. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.